In this video, we will show you how to replace your rear door check. On this Chevy Tahoe, you'll have one of these located on each one of your rear doors. Let's get into it. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. The first thing we'll do is come right over to the door lock switch. We're going to remove that using a small pocket screwdriver. While doing this, be extremely careful not to damage your panel on the door. We'll just get underneath this area and gently pry it apart. Have to work your way around sometimes. There's that. We can set this aside. Now let's move down along the inside door handle. Along this area, you're going to find that you have a small trim panel to remove. You can use a trim tool or a small screwdriver and get in between this area to gently separate it. Now that we've removed that trim panel, make your way up underneath the grab handle. You'll find that you have a seven millimeter bolt in this area. Let's remove it. Now we can move along to our final seven millimeter headed bolt, which is down underneath the speaker unit. Take hold of your door panel, gently lift it up and start pulling it away from the door. Keep in mind that you do still have wiring leading to that window switch. With that pulled away, we can disconnect the wiring harness for this. Give that a quick check for corrosion and set it aside. Remove your door panel. Now that we have that out of the way, let's continue on with removing this boot right here. We'll just use our small screwdriver or trim tool. You can slide that right up there. Behind this area, you're going to find that you have two 10 millimeter headed bolts. We're going to pause here for one second and make our way up to removing the vapor barrier. Let's go ahead and pry this out of the way. You will be reusing this, so try not to rip it. It's also good to mention that you don't want to get any of this butyl tape on your clothes. It will ruin them. With the vapor barrier out of the way, you have a clear view of the inside aspect of the door check. This is what we're going to be holding on to while we remove our mounting hardware. Let's start removing our hardware. We'll use a 10 millimeter. Now we can follow the door check to where it connects onto the body of the vehicle. Remove that 10 millimeter headed bolt. Now at this point, we can start removing this. I'm going to reach inside the door, take hold of that door check and start pulling it through. While I do so, we're also going to remove this from this portion of the door check. And there it is, friends. All right, let's get ready to install our brand new door check. While we're sliding in this into place, make sure that you align each of your studs with their corresponding hole. Before we go too much further, let's make sure that we put on our protective boot. Just continue sliding this in until my studs are aligned properly. And 
Now we can start installing our mounting hardware. We'll continue on to our mounting bolt. Now that we have all three of our mounting pieces started, let's continue on to snugging them up. It's bottomed out. Let's make sure it's nice and snug. Ensure that you tightened all three pieces. Now we can continue on to our protective seal. Now we can reinstall that vapor barrier. Just go ahead and press it right back into its original position. All right, now we can start putting on our door panel. We'll start with that window switch. Go ahead and take that, put it in position, slide it up and listen for a click. There's that. Give it a tug to make sure it's completely secure. Now we can start putting the door panel in place. You'll find along the back side of the panel, you have several hooks that will need to fit into their corresponding holes in the door itself. So the way that we'll do this is come up nice and high, press it up against the door, and then bring it down into the locked position. Once you feel as though you have it in the locked position, run your fingers all the way around. I can feel right here, I'm not locked in completely. At this point, I'll lift it back up, press it in again, and bring it down. Once it feels as though it's completely locked in, we'll continue on with our two mounting bolts. Now we can continue on with our trim panel. You'll find along the bottom area of this, you have a small hook that needs to fit in behind the door panel. We'll keep that in mind. Grab onto that door handle, give it a little tug, and slide this right on through. Now we'll bring this area down, that's that little hooked area that I spoke about, and we can press this into position. Now we can put on our door lock switch. You'll find along the back side of this, you have a hole that's where the door lock rod needs to go into. So we'll make sure we're in the unlock position by forcing this forward. We'll bring this to the unlock position as well. And then press this right in. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.